A great way to summarize facts is to use a table. A table is when information is gathered in rows and columns. A table is when information is gathered in rows and columns. You will use a table when you uh, create your cover letter for your prospective employer. It's a great way to summarize your skills so the employer doesn't have to read through a paragraph to see them. They can see them evidently in a table. So we're going to click on the middle blank line. So we have a blank line before the table and a blank line after the table. Now we're going to go to our insert tab. We're going to go to table. We're going to click on the table button. Now we could draw the table, but we're going to go to the insert table command, which is a lot easier. We're going to specify the number of columns we need and the number of rows we need. In our case, we're going to have four columns and six rows. So we're going to hit OK. Now here's our table. The top row of the table, the top row of the table is going to be the title of our table. So orientation schedule of events August 1st 2019 you will put the date that yours is if you are not doing this um, when August 1st is not the coming up sem semester Okay, we're going to center this across all the columns, but we're going to do that later, so don't worry about it now. So now let's type in what's called our column headings. Our column headings are also our field names. Column headings are field names because those are our categories. Column headings, field names, categories. Okay, remember that. That's what Excel is, that's what X, uh, Access is, and that's what a table is in Word. And here is our table with the column headings Class, Instructor, Time, Location. Where a column and a row meet is called a cell. So for moving from cell to cell, you would press the tab key. So you would type the word class, press tab, type the word instructor, press tab, the word time, press tab, location, tab, and then you would do that until the entire table is full. Now notice here that the days and times are not all fitting in the time column. That is not our worry right now. That will fix itself when we move forward. Right now, we just want to make sure the table is filled in. You can pause the video or look off the sample output to make sure you have all the information entered in the table that need be. I did not come up with these instructor names. They were giving to me. So I did not pick Mike Tyson as one of our teachers. That was a student. And then after you type your table, make sure you save the document so you're ready for the next part.